Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 10 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I have completed the distance formula, examples 1 to 5 and questions 1 to 9 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box. Quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 10 from exercise 7.1, chapter 7, coordinate geometry says, find the relation between x and y such that the points x, y is equidistant from the point point 3 comma 6 and minus 3 comma 4 so here they have given us a point x comma y which is equidistance from two other points given and we have to find out the relation between coordinates of a point x and y here they are not asking us the value of x and y but instead they are asking us a relationship between x and y that is a equation that will be formed so let us take a point p with coordinates x comma y and this point p is equidistance from the two other points given let us assume these points to be point a and point b the coordinates of point a and b are given that is 3 comma 6 and minus 3 comma 4 right we will apply here the distance formula to find out the distance p a and p b since they are equidistance p a will be equal to p b so we will equate these two distances and then we will find out the relation between x and y so let us first write down let the point p x comma y be equidistance from points we have named it as first point as point a given by 3 comma 6 and point b given as minus 3 comma 4 since this point a and b are equidistance from point p so therefore we can say that p a is equal to p b now let us apply the distance formula every time you solve such a kind of problem you have to write down the formula first so distance formula is given by x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square first of all let us find out p a distance so to find out distance p a let us assume point p as x1 y1 and point a given by 3 comma 6 as x2 y2 so applying the distance formula to find out p a we have square root of x2 minus x1 which is 3 minus x the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 6 minus y the whole square here we cannot solve the further so let us name this as if we take pa is equal to pb as equation one let us take this as equation number two now similarly let us find out the distance pb so write down for pb we have point p given by x comma y and here let us assume point p x comma y as x1 y1 and point b given by minus 3 comma 4 as x2 y right so distance pb is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 here x2 is minus 3 minus x the whole square plus y2 minus y1 is 4 minus y the whole square so again here we cannot simplify further so let us take this as equation number 3 now let us substitute equation 2 and 3 in equation 1 so substitute 2 and 3 in 1 so what is pa value it is square root of 3 minus x the whole square plus 6 minus y the whole square is equal to what is pb value it is again square root of minus 3 minus x the whole square plus 4 minus y the whole square here you can see that there's an identity which we have to apply that is a minus b the whole square identity right so a minus b the whole square is given by a square minus 2 a b plus b square so let us apply this formula and open the brackets here so square root of a value is 3 and b is x so a square will be 3 square that is 9 minus 2 into a is 3 and b is x plus b square so b square is x square plus here a value is 6 and b value is y so a square is 6 square that is 36 minus 2 into a is 6 and b is y plus b square is nothing but y square 
square is equal to again we have to take square root here we have a value as minus 3 and b is minus x so minus 3 the whole square squaring of a negative number will become positive so minus 3 square will be 9 minus 2 into a value is minus 3 and b value is minus x here we have minus 3 and minus x the whole square so here we have to apply the identity a plus b the whole square which is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square whenever there is a minus sign in between whenever both both the signs are same that is if we have a minus a minus b or plus a and plus b this identity will be applied whenever there is sign difference that is if we have a plus a and minus b then this identity will be applied so since here both the signs of a and b are same we will apply a plus b the whole square identity okay so let us apply this a plus b the whole square identity here for minus 3 minus minus x the whole square what is a it is minus 3 the whole square so squaring of a negative number will be positive it will be minus 3 the whole square is 9 plus b square again minus x square will be plus x square plus 2 into a value is minus 3 and b value is minus x this will be 9 plus x here minus into minus will become plus 3 into 2 is 3 into 2 into x will be 6x right so this will be similar to a plus b the whole square so here we can write 9 plus x square plus 6x plus again here we have a minus b the whole square where a value is 4 and b value is 1 so a square is 16 minus 2 into a value is 4 and b value is y plus b square here b square is y square so now let us again simplify under the square root values so this will be 9 minus 3 into 2 into x is minus 6x plus x square plus 36 minus 6 into 2 into y is 6 into 2 is 12 y plus y square is equal to again square root of 9 plus x square plus 6x plus 16 and minus 2 into 4 is minus 8y plus y square now let us square on both the sides to remove the square root term squaring on both the sides we get square root of 9 minus 6x plus x square plus 36 minus 12y plus y square the whole square is equal to square root of 9 plus x square plus 6x plus 16 minus 8y plus y square the whole square so the square and square root term is going to get cancelled and we will be left with 9 minus 6x plus x square plus 36 minus 12y plus y square let us bring all the other terms to left hand side so we get minus 9 minus x square minus 6x all the positive values will become negative this plus 16 will become minus 16 and here the negative minus 8y will become plus 8y and plus y square is going to become minus y square equal to 0 here you can observe that we have a plus 9 and a minus 9 which is going to get cancelled and we have minus 6x and minus 6x which will add up to become minus 12x then we have plus x square and minus x square which is going to again get cancelled then we have plus 36 and minus 16 so here again we have to subtract plus 36 and minus 16 so here 6 minus 6 is 0 3 minus 1 is 2 so greater number sign will come so it is plus 20 then we have minus 12y and plus 8y so again we will subtract 12 minus 8 is 4 and greater number sign will come so we get minus 4y then we have plus y square and minus y square which will again get cancelled equal to 0 so here we have a minus sign in the first term so always we should make sure that any equation should not have a minus sign at the beginning so let us take minus common and also we can see here that 4 term can be taken out common because 12 can be written as 4 into 3 and 20 can be written as 4 into 5 right so taking minus 4 outside 
as common we will be left with 3x here then plus into minus will become minus 5 and again here if you take minus 4 common what will be left behind plus y equal to 0 so let us bring this minus 4 to the right hand side so anything divided by 0 will become 0 so you will get equation as 3x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 this is the relation between x and y term that can be obtained from the given condition right so this is the relationship between x and y so therefore you can write down therefore this is the required equation right so this is how we solve this problem if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section in my next video, let us learn section 7.3 that is the section formula from chapter 7 coordinate geometry. So till then do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC NSERT math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 7 coordinate geometry shown on the screen. Thank you.